As spring finally begins to show itself this week, we know that warmer weather oftentimes bring thunderstorms this time of year, sometimes severe ones too. That'll certainly be the case on Friday, as a powerful spring storm system ushers in much warmer air, and eventually thunderstorms, some of which will likely be severe, especially across southwestern and central Illinois, Friday evening into the overnight hours. Taking a look here at projected dew points, our system will really begin to organize here early Friday morning, as you can see those deeper levels of moisture begin to get pulled northward out of the Gulf of Mexico. You can see by the early afternoon into the evening, our storm system is really starting to take shape here, with warm moist air being pumped out ahead of it, especially across the south, and that sharp contrast where that cold front pushes eastward here across the state during the evening hours. That'll be our transition line between warmer and colder air, also where our area of active to severe thunderstorms is quite possible. While higher dew point air will get pushed north as well, that won't be the only thing. Much warmer air will also be propelled northward on strong southerly winds. By near noon to the early afternoon Friday, it'll be in the already low 70s across pretty much the entire state to mid to upper 70s across central and southern Illinois. By peak times, temperatures will likely top out in the mid to upper 70s to even near 80 degrees just about everywhere across the state, with strong southerly winds pushing this warm air right up to the lakefront. Actually, much of the daytime hours on Friday will be quite nice, despite the 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts out of the south. But with some sunshine and temperatures well into the 70s, it could almost feel like summer. But as the main system and its cold front approach Friday afternoon, instability, or storm fuel, will ramp out, out ahead of the front. Here we can see those elevated areas of instability represented by the green and especially the yellow colors. You'll notice how instability is more abundant across west central and southern Illinois, where we expect thunderstorms to be more intense. As those storms eventually push into northern Illinois, we'll already have lost some of our instability as it'll be near midnight by then. This thinking matches our current severe weather outlook, with the greatest risk a level 4 out of 5 across southwestern and parts of central Illinois. This is where very strong wind shear profiles will overlap with better instability during the evening hours, so all modes of severe weather, including significant damaging winds and tornadoes, are very possible. As we get into the yellow area, the level 3 out of 5 risk further north and east across the remainder of central Illinois, we are still expecting strong to severe storms here, but it is in this area we expect storms to be in a weakening state, at least somewhat. Still, a very potent damaging wind risk may present itself well into the overnight hours. Across northern Illinois, the severe risk is a bit more conditional. The extent of the severe risk up here will depend on the level of moisture that makes it this far north during the afternoon hours on Friday. But still, it won't take much at all for any storm to produce damaging winds Friday night. Here's kind of how we expect things to progress Friday evening through the overnight hours in terms of the actual thunderstorms. You can see here we sit at 4 p.m., nothing really going on, nothing on the radar yet, but that quickly changes throughout the early evening as that cold front begins to push towards western Illinois. You can see that line of strong to severe storms that quickly develops pushes into western Illinois by 7 to 9 p.m. or so, and this is where the storms would likely be the most intense across the state here where we have that level 4 out of 5 risk. Significant damaging winds, embedded tornadoes, and hail are all possible, especially across this area here again of that level 4 out of 5 risk. As the evening progresses, we expect this line to begin to push east and north here, but the severe risk will slowly lessen as this line becomes more disorganized towards midnight or just after. Now, we do expect the tornado risks to transition into more of a damaging wind risk with the northern extent of these storms, especially as we get towards midnight and after. You can see how this line generally becomes more disorganized as it pushes north and east here, as we lose some of that low-level instability later in the night. But still, just about any of these storms will be capable of producing strong damaging winds, and again, we will have to watch for that embedded tornado risk well into the night as well. Part of the reason the damaging wind risk is greatest for this system is because of the sheer amount of wind energy associated with this system. Even well before the storms on Friday, winds will be gusting into the 45 to 55 mile per hour range, and also behind the storms on Saturday, it'll be very windy as well, with continued gusts above 45 miles per hour. But again here, looking at our severe risk map, the damaging wind risk could become quite significant tomorrow evening as these storms mix stronger winds down to the surface. Tornadoes will also be possible across the level 4 risk area, but overall we will likely see more of a damaging wind risk across northern Illinois. Here's a new graphic showing the anticipated timing of the arrival of these storms across northern Illinois Friday night, also depicting the greater tornado risk to the southwest. Again, we expect storms to enter western Illinois in the 7 to 8 p.m. time frame, working eastward with time, and exiting the state during the early morning hours. Either way, tomorrow will be an important evening to be able to receive warnings and act quickly if a warning is issued for your area, as these storms will be moving quite fast. Stay tuned to ISC for more updates throughout the day also.